Hey you guys and welcome back to Traveling with T. Today I'm going to show you how I do a breakfast service on a 737. So the first thing that you do before you even take off is you turn on your ovens and you start making the food um, to start cooking it. I usually do this before we take off so that my food is ready by the time I'm in the air. And once you level off, now you're going to turn the ovens off so that the food doesn't continue to cook, just to turn off that heat so that they stay warm. And on the 737, they have this neat, I guess you can call it counter that you can make. So I pull that out from that pocket and you have to unfold it and stick it in these little holes so that they're secure. And with those two holes that are in the counter, you usually are able to put a wine bottle and anything else you need to store. Extra condiments that we were catered with in regards to the bread selections and just milk. And these are the items that we'll use to prepare the food. This is all the beverages and the meals that everyone requested. And if you see on the bottom of this paper, that's how many meals I have of each one, and when it's an X through it, that is how much was ordered. So I had leftovers, as you can see. So now the first thing that I'll do is I'll prepare the beverages. That's the first thing that the passengers get. They don't automatically get the meals first. The only thing that differs between a breakfast and a dinner service and this step is for a dinner or lunch service, they'll also get um, hot nuts, but for breakfast, there's nothing else to accompany the beverage. So I just make the beverages first and I pass all that out. So that's what I'm doing in this step for a little bit. What you'll see me doing here is we don't have iced tea on board, so a passenger requested that for me. I was being extremely nice this day and decided to make them the iced tea. So that's how it ended up looking when I let it just, I guess, sit for a little. <laughs> Once all the beverages are out, I'll start doing the hot towel service and that's just to get their hands clean before the meal trays are being sent out by me. So you see me breaking open the package. It's usually eight towels in each one, so I'll have to break open both since this first class on the 737 holds 16 people. And the only thing I'll have to do is just add hot water. So that's what you see me doing. Just getting hot water inside one of our hot coffee cups for the main cabin, just pouring it on top. It doesn't have to be completely saturated with water. It should just be like very damp and moist. So that's why you don't see me pouring too much water on it. 
you don't want the hot water to drip on the passengers. I've had that happen to me before when I non-rev. The towel was literally like super wet. Like it just came out of a pool or something. So it just needs to be damp with hot water. And I think they're actually lined with like a scented lemon or something. Because they smell very citrusy once you add the hot water. It smells really good. And you'll also see me looking at my watch very often. Because I put a countdown on my watch so I know how much time I have left just to make sure I'm not running behind. You'll collect the same hot towels on a tray and we just dispose of them because they literally cost less than a cent each. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just throwing them away and throwing the liner of that tray away. And now I'm getting a new tray just to avoid germs and putting on a new liner on it. And at this point, I will start getting ready for the dinner service. I mean, not dinner, breakfast. <laughs> All right, so the options that we have today are a chicken omelet with red skin potatoes and fruit on the side or oatmeal. And it has the brown sugar and the dried fruit as well. Now I'm getting my utensils to pull the hot meals out of the oven. We always get the little oven mitts and that utensil is very special. It grips one side of the plate and then it, I don't know how, it's just science guys. It holds it. It's crazy. <laughs> so it's like a little bit curved. These are the trays that are already pre-built. As you see, it has just a little bit of foil over it, like just clear ceram wrap and we'll have to peel that off for the passengers before of course we serve it so I usually do two at a time when it's bumpy I'll do one just to make sure I don't drop anything and procedure is that we do one at a time but when you're crunched down for time you really honestly can't because there's so much to do so I just usually do two and you won't see me put a meal on the second one a passenger just requested that they wanted a bagel and the fruit so now I'm just going to pull out what it looks like is going to be an omelet because I didn't see me put any dry fruit or brown sugar. So you saw that utensil. I was able to get it. Oh, <laughs> there's my other flight attendant. At this time, you guys, as the lead flight attendant, you will have people asking you where the lavatory is. Your flight attendants will come asking for stuff. You're just forever going to be busy as the lead flight attendant. It's just always traffic in the front of the aircraft i just don't understand there always is so now i'm getting that bagel for that other passenger who didn't want the meal so that they'll have something to eat and then i will run those trays out and pretty much just repeat the whole time the only thing that i'll ask them um, after i do hand them each tray is if they'd like a refill if i see that their beverage is depleted and once i complete one whole row I'll go out with the bread, which you'll see me do in a little bit. Now that I've completed one whole row, I'm getting my bread basket and my bread liner out of my materials. And I'll just put in all three selections. Today we had the bagel and then the cream cheese to accompany it. We had a southern style biscuit and they gave us extra butter to accompany that. And we also got a chocolate danish. So I'll usually put three of each so that it doesn't look overwhelming. They usually give us so much bread. So it's really rare that we run out because a lot of people don't like the carbs. So as you see, I'm just making sure they look all pretty with the bread tongs that we use. We have two separate tongs, so don't worry. I'm not using the same tongs that was used for the hot towel service. These are specifically for the bread. If you were paying attention, the warm towel tongs are much smaller and they don't have a 
huge end of the tong like the bread tongs do so I'll just bring out this bread basket and the tongs they already have the empty ramekin that I can put the bread in once I approach them with the selections so after that I'll come back I'll put the bread right in the oven because remember it is off um, I'll verify that it's off as well just to make sure because that bread holder is plastic and can burn <laughs> so please make sure before you do that your oven is off and then I'll just continue with the next row so depending on um, the direction that we're heading in I believe it's east to west or west to east will work from aft forward or forward aft so I'll just continue to come out and do the same thing go ahead and do the meal trays ask if they'd like a refill once the whole row is complete then bread so that's all I'll be doing over and over again until I get through all four rows, two on each side, so 16 people. Some passengers won't want a refill, so I'll just collect their glass and put it back inside of the galley cart. How we differentiate between clean and clean, clean and dirty glasses are clean glasses will be face down so that the bottom is facing you and dirty glasses will be facing up. Once the passengers are finished with their breakfast, I'll go ahead and collect their whole trays and I will usually reorganize a galley cart so that the dirty trays are at the bottom and clean trays are remaining at the top. Because believe it or not, no matter how much passengers pay for first class seats, sometimes they actually just don't want to eat. So we'll usually have trays that are left over and I offer the trays to my other crew members in case they just want to pick at it sometimes there's yogurt on them but this time it's fruit so i'll just make sure it's not mingling with the dirty food because that's gross <laughs> so i'm just organizing all the dishes and putting the trays away because passengers as much as they think they're helping us they will stack things on top of the trays and that just can't fit inside of the carts so as you see all that is flat and it has to be flat like that so clean at the top dirty at the bottom this is the only trash space that we get on the 737 in first class so it's very important that you make sure you're not accumulating too much because there's no space for it so now I am eating what's left over because I didn't have time to get breakfast it was too early and our van was just enough time to get through KCM and get on the aircraft so I usually don't eat all of it because airplane food is extremely salty. So I didn't finish the omelet and for you guys that see that I'm being wasteful, I'm sorry. I just really ate the fruit. All the salt isn't good for the baby. Um, so uh, the passengers haven't been able to see me through this whole process because we have a curtain that covers the galley. So no one's just watching me eat. And I also do that because the lavatory is sitting right there and just germs once again, it just freaks me out. So <laughs> um, as you can see that curtain to the right. So once everyone has eaten and I no longer need the food to be warm, it's a part of our procedure that we empty the ovens. And this is something I learned recently while doing my recurrent training modules. I had no idea we had to empty the oven, so I've started making a habit of doing this. You can pull out the whole oven um, tray and put it in just straight into a galley cart. So that galley cart was completely empty and I saved that specifically for the tray so it's easier for catering. So empty oven. Now the captain has said to prepare for landing. So at this point I will get the to-go mints ready to pass to the passengers. And what's also not pictured is me handing them back their coats that I collected during the boarding process that are hung up in the closet. And that's how you do a breakfast service on the 737. Bye guys.